Well, Shabbat Shalom. I sure hope you join us tonight at 745 Central on the One New Man Network. We're going to be having our Shabbat service here, and I want to personally invite you. It should be a great night tonight. I'm going to do a review now of the weapons that the Lord has given you. There's more than this, but these are weapons to maintain the peace in your house. Let's go through them right now. Number one, the scripture says in Psalms 511, but let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. That means that we put decrees and proclamations. We say with our mouth over our home what God says, what the scripture says in regards to the situation. And we always decree in the opposite spirit. If sickness is coming into the house, we say, Father God, by his stripes, we are the healed of the Lord. That's just one example. Now, the second thing, it says, let them even shout for joy because you defend them. We learned about the shout where you literally can give a shout to the Lord. I mean, like you would at a football game, blow a shofar, give a shout, say, Lord, you're my healer. You are my deliverer. You are the king of kings, whatever it is actually shout in your home don't don't just say well that's just for when we go to church no you need to give a shout in your home when that atmosphere starts to get heavy give a shout of praise it will open up the gates third let those also who love your name be joyful start learning the names of God and proclaiming the names of God he is Jehovah Rapha your healer he is Jehovah Shalom your peace he is Jehovah Jireh, your provision. All the names of God. Just start making those decrees over the house. I, I would just make them anytime something is, uh, uh, you're getting ready to write checks to pay your bills, put your hand on your checkbook first and say, He is Jehovah Jireh. He will meet all my needs according to His riches and glory through Christ Jesus who gives me strength. Then start writing the checks and give the Lord thanks. These are things that maintain peace. The next one is, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. Know that your righteousness is in him, that he paid the price for your sin. He sanctified you. He delivered you. He paid for you. He's the author and finisher of your faith. He will guide you. He's responsible for you. Receive his lordship and receive, <coughs> excuse me, receive his righteousness. And then I'm going to close with this. If you'll follow those simple weapons... It goes on to say, with favor, you will surround him with a shield. So you'll have favor on one side and a shield of faith on the other. Isn't that what we need to maintain peace? These are simple tools that anybody can use. These are learned and practiced skills. I don't want you to pray today. I'm going to pray for you. Is that okay? Father God, in the name of Yeshua, all my partners who are watching PowerPoints, they can do this. They can make decrees and proclamations of the Scripture. They can post Scripture on their refrigerators, bathroom mirrors, bedposts, and decree what they need. They can shout for joy. If they have a shofar, they can blow shofars. They can remind themselves, husbands and children, wives, that the righteousness in the family is come from Jesus Christ and the offer that came at Calvary. That he sits at the right hand of the Father. Thank you, Lord, that we can not only trust you, but you are our favor and our shield. And with this simple week, I can protect the peace in my house, regardless of what comes into this world. Because mightier that he that's in us than he that's in the world. Join us tonight, 745. God bless you. Have peace in your home. Maintain the peace. You can do it. You are kings and priests. Watchmen on the wall. God bless you. Thank you so much for all you do. And shalom.